His record this season is breathtaking. Wonderful tennis. Djokovic showing his full range. He's led the way from the word go. Djokovic all over him. For much of 2015, Novak Djokovic has been inspired. Brilliant! You've got to be kidding me! What a point from the world number one! When he booked his place in the semi-finals at Roland Garros, the world number one ensured he was the first to qualify for the season-ending Barclays ATP World Tour Finals in London. It's been an exceptional year so far. In January, Djokovic went to Melbourne and became the first man in the Open era to win five Australian Open titles. A remarkable achievement. When it came to the March Masters, the Serb sensation arrived in California as defending Indian Wells champion. He made no mistake holding on to his crown. Djokovic has done it. Djokovic. He has successfully defended his title here at the BMP Paribas Open. I'm going to try to enjoy this win. I mean, it's, it's a great win. It's been a great tournament and it's going to give me a lot of confidence now. Miami was next and Djokovic was at it again. Another defense of his title as he became the first player to complete the Indian Wells Miami sweep three times. Incredible achievement. I'm very proud of the self-belief in the end and uh, managing to, to hold my nerves and uh, mentally stay tough. April brought a change of surface, but no change in Novak's determination or domination. A victory in Monte Carlo saw yet another landmark reached. Long it is, and a little bit of tennis history is made in Monte Carlo. Novak Djokovic becomes the first player to win the opening three Masters of the Year. Djokovic's winning streak was extended to 22 matches when he captured another ATP World Tour Masters 1000 title on the clay in Rome. It's title number four in Rome. For Novak Djokovic. Today I served well, stayed aggressive, uh, calm, you know, in the right moments. And all in all, it was, uh, it was a great performance and I'm looking forward to, to Paris. Added to his runner-up performance at Roland Garros, all those Emirates ATP rankings points amassed over the last six months have ensured Novak Djokovic is the first to cement his place at the O2 in November. A tournament he's won four times already. It's a great, great achievement and uh, looking forward going back uh, to Old 2 Arena. You know, for a player, it's a pleasure to perform in front of a crowd that has big knowledge and passion about our sport. Only the best eight players in the world will be there and Djokovic leads the way. Congratulations, Novak. Guys, thanks a lot for watching. We really enjoyed being our host today. Uh, and see you next time at ATP World Tour Uncovered. Thanks to Bruno and Alex, and next week on ATP World Tour Uncovered, we're in Stuttgart and Hürtengen Bosch, as it all starts on the grass. And we'll be with Germany's comeback kid, we spotlight the evergreen Tommy Haas. Don't forget to log on to atpworldtour.com for your 24-7 breaking news, and talk with us on Facebook and Twitter in English and Spanish. See you next week.